When President Museven announced that schools will be reopening for candidate classes on the 15th of October, teachers and uh, school owners celebrated and looked forward to finally getting back to work after nearly seven months. And indeed, we are only three days away from the reopening of schools. However, some private school owners in uh, Nakaseke district are not looking forward to the reopening of schools. Uh, the reasons as to why this is like this, uh, they say, uh, their schools depend on money from the learners. And now, given the fact that other classes will not be returning for, for, for studying, for studies, uh, candidates alone are not able to contribute the money which is needed to run the activities of the school. So they have resorted to transferring the candidates uh, to other government-aided schools from where they will be able to sit their primary living examinations. Uh, according to the Nakaseke District Education Officer, he revealed that uh, the administrators from a number of private schools approached his office seeking for support from government and some are willing to set up their schools. Uh, he says because um, many had, uh, had loans from banks and so they are not able to raise the money to pay off the loans. So they are willing to set up their schools in order to get the money and pay off the loans. And... Um, um, teachers in other government-aided schools are also worried about the requirements to meet the standard operating procedures given the fact that uh, the money that the government released uh, for them is yet to go to the school accounts and uh, some parents can't uh, afford some of the items they have been asked to buy. For example, they have been asked to buy a, to pay, uh, a pair of masks each, each learner and um, they say that some learners grew fat during the lockdown period and now the uniforms are no longer fitting them. And so the parents have to pay for uh, another school uniform, which is uh, another burden to, to their parents. And uh, the other scholastic materials, of course, which are supposed to be used when these uh, schools, learners get back to school. Uh, this is what I can give you from my area that's greater well, but uh, as the situation is, a uh, number of private schools will not be able to reopen because um, the fact that these uh, candidates are not able to raise the money that these schools need because they say they have to pay for teachers, they have to pay for at least each school will need for teachers who will be teaching the four subjects. So, um, and other, other necessities that are needed to run the, the school activities, so they are not able to, to meet them. That's it for now. Mm, I'll be giving you more updates during our subsequent uh, bulletins.